all right ladies and gentlemen so I just picked up a new soprano I wound up selling my other one so here I have this Alora Paris series professional soprano saxophone the straight soprano which comes with two necks and it comes in an antique matte finish now I'll just pretend like there's a giant cardboard box and inside that box there's this thing and a plastic bag all right I just want to take this opportunity to let you guys know what I'll be using for this demo this is just a cap uh, that I picked up for the mouthpiece but this is the V16 Van Dorn S8 mouthpiece that I'll be using for this and uh, this is this this leather BG ligature that has this inside like this and for soprano I've pretty much always kind of preferred Lavaz reeds these are the medium soft as you can see here so uh, one of the things that I have been having issues with with pretty much every new soprano but once you hit that high A it's like this massive wall of pressure every soprano saxophone I've ever had has had that problem but not every soprano I've ever played usually some vintage horns they almost never have that wall that's right there it makes sense that it would be there the original Adolf Sax saxophones if you know your history had two octave keys so you had one from middle D up to G sharp and then you had another octave key from A on upwards so uh, this is the stuff that I'll be using and here we go first thing I notice about this is how heavy it is I was actually surprised so let's zip this thing open it up and let's see what we got we got the soprano here comes in all this plastic inside of paper have our neck strap here we have chateau here looks like a receipt get your silica don't eat that by the way Aye! we have a mouthpiece here I'll give you a review of this mouthpiece also neck in this paper here and over here this looks like the straight one this is an outrageously nice case which is making me wonder how much of the thirteen hundred dollars that I paid for this is actually going to the case all right so let's strip this down a bit Added neck strap. Surprised to see that. Has a metal hook here. This is actually really, really, really good. I will never ever use a plastic one of these ever again. Every plastic one I've ever used has broken, and when it broke, I have dropped the horn. So this is a good sign. All right, so we have the soprano here, and I'm actually very surprised again how heavy it is. It's actually got a good bit of mass to it there. So let's strip this down. This is a, a really good looking horn. I'm already pretty impressed. Everything is corked down, feels tight. All right, let's give this thing a whirl and see what we got.
talked about there being an issue with this horn, and it's right here at the octave mechanism. It's freakishly difficult to press, and it's causing me to miss the high notes. And usually the problem that I have when it comes to soprano is once you get above that G sharp, then you hit this wall. So on this horn, I know that that's not the same because that problem doesn't really happen once you get above the G sharp. It happens higher than that. So hopefully it's a super easy fixable problem and it might not actually be the horn itself. It might be the way this case is here. My Yamaha 82Z that I sold a few months ago had this issue. I took it to my guy and he fixed it not realizing that the issue was the case. Um, actually, the post here used to sit in a weird place in the case and whenever you stood the horn up and rested it there all the weight would uh, would lie on this post here so I took it to go get fixed but then it happened again and I was like oh, okay it's okay so he just fixed it back balanced it and then he actually like made some surgical modifications to the case itself and then I was pretty much good to go I mean I didn't particularly like that horn because it had that G sharp like above the G sharp issue that so many modern soprano saxophones have so uh, it looks like I don't have that issue with this horn I'll take this to my guy he'll take a look at it Thank you.